Bolivia is located in the center of South America and is the continent's poorest country. Bolivia has a population of nearly 9 million people, but more than half of those live below the poverty line, unable to pay for food, healthcare, housing, or even their children's education. Young boys, girls, and teenagers make up more than half of Bolivia's population. It is estimated that in the capital La Paz alone, more than 30,000 children live in the streets. They are born into poverty, grow up without love, are robbed of their childhood and often have no future. Some of them have never said mummy to a woman nor daddy to a man. Most get along by working or begging in the streets, but nonetheless, some even have to steal in order to survive. Many girls turn to prostitution, some of them just 10 years old. Here is the dramatic case of Francisca. How old are you? 12 years old. How long have you been a prostitute? Since last year, when I was 11 years old. How much do you charge? Sexual act costs 8 bolivianos, enough for food and to live and get by. At night, many kids sleep in a hotel of a thousand stars. That's to say, in the open air, under bridges, in dumpsters and in empty niches in the walls of the cemeteries. The abandoned children all have something in common, which is the pain of being unwanted. Our society calls them disposable, as if they were something with no worth or future. What hurts most for many isn't hunger, but a life without family, without shelter and without love. Foundation Arco Iris The Foundation Arco Iris was founded in the city of La Paz in 1994 by Father Jose and is divided into three main parts social work, the vocational training of young people and the Foundation Star Project, the Hospital Arco Iris. The Foundation shelters around 300 children in its seven different homes. More than 800 are grateful to receive daily meals. 1,000 receive support in their school studies, vocational training or learning to read and write. And each year more than 5,000 boys, girls and young people benefit from both psychological and legal support. The Hospital Arco Iris gives about 60,000 consultations free of charge every year to street children and also to those living in extreme poverty. The Foundation Arco Iris sees in every child the face of God himself, who came into this world a poor and defenseless child, who gathered the young into his arms with love and affection, and who said to their elders, I swear to you, that he who receives a child in my name is helping and receiving me.